Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we're having a chat to Michael and Alyssa from Arch Enemy. How are we guys? Great, how are you? I'm good. We're here on the Sunday, and uh, yeah, we've, we've, we're on the last day, and we're nearly there, nearly over the line. But uh, yeah, you guys are going to be our, uh, our, our our special guests for warming up Megadeth, so uh, are you excited about that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, this is actually the last show on our tour that we're on right now, so we're just like ending with a bang. Yes, absolutely. A bang would be good, yeah. I think. I think it's, you know, <laughs> Sunday. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, obviously Sunday, we've, we've all been partying for like three or four days already. So, you know, you guys have got to give us the energy to just kind of keep on going and stuff like that. So, uh, uh, is this your, your first time playing here? Is that correct? Or? I think it is. Yeah? Isn't it? So, yeah. I've, uh, the, I think the... We haven't been here in years. We, yeah. We, we, we were here a couple of times uh, a long time ago. Yeah. But now we're back. So yeah. That's so, so, you t- have Lisa. you told Alyssa how fantastic we are then, yeah? <laughs> uh, no. The bad things. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully we're proving them more wrong than okay, so good. far, and uh, it'll be okay, and we'll get you a nice reception when you get out there later on. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah, you say you've been busy, you've been all over the place, you've been uh, uh, touring lots and that sort of thing. How do the, the the UK kind of kind of crowds compare to 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 the rest of Europe or America or wherever? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we've played UK quite a bit in the past, and we did a few dates with. Um, when did we play UK last time? Well, we played Scotland, uh, heavy yeah. Scotland, and then oh, yeah. we played a one. Yeah, we did a little tour. We had soil work out with us, and then we did before that. We were out here with Creator. Um, so we've done a few things with you. Didn't over we here. Do Mar- like with Marty Friedman. And that was the creative thing. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, UK is always great. You know, it's got its own vibe. You know, it's hard to really pinpoint what it is, but it's you know. It's got its own thing going on, and it's great. And yeah. uh, a lot of uh, we're very excited about playing Bloodsuck again. I think it's really this is the metal festival in the UK. So yeah, that's kind of the way we like to think about ourselves. Anyway, we have a you know wide variety of uh, we're spreading out genres all the time. I mean, we had Ghost headlining last night, and you know right. there were a bit of a sort of mixed reaction to those guys, but they went down really, really well last night. You know, when mm-hmm. they were announced, there was a mixed reaction. So mm-hmm. uh, we try to sort of you know cater for everybody. So hopefully we'll uh, carry on with that. So um, you've got a new album on the way, Will to Power? Yeah, so I mean, right now we're doing festival shows, uh, but we're also doing promotion things. Actually, the band has two and a half weeks off. Me and Lisa don't. We're going to New York to do promotion. We're going to Tokyo to do promotion. Wow. And then we join up, we meet up with the other guys who've just in, who've enjoyed a bit of time off, and we yeah. do a tour. Uh, we start the... The album's called Will to Power, the new album, which we've been working on all year, basically. Yeah. That's done, and it's coming out in less than a month from now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard uh, the, uh, the opening track that you brought out, the video for Right, the that. video, yeah. Really yeah. Good. The world sounds, is yours. Yeah, it sounds very, very fresh. Very, very cool. fresh, and not necessarily typical sort of arch enemy that people might kind of... Well, it's always a fine line. It's a balance, isn't it? You want to come out with something that people... That is unmistakably arch enemy, but at the same time, you could have put a new spin on it. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know... That's just one song out of uh, a whole bunch of songs, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on there. So it's the album itself is very varied. I think it's very dynamic. It goes yeah. uh, covers uh, quite a few areas which we haven't visited before. Yeah. And um, it's the second time around with Elisa, you know, second album with her, and uh, yeah, everything feels great. Yeah, and is that um, do you think that the the, the new members Alyssa and, and, and has has brought to that as well? And obviously, you've got you all have different musical backgrounds and musical tastes that you've brought sure. into it. As I well. mean, yeah, of course, you know, just new energy. Now it's five people, uh, three of us are the same that it's always been, and um, but we've got two fairly, well, the two latest new <laughs> member yeah. additions to the band, and you know they've brought a lot to the band, yeah. Yeah. So is the writing process changed over the years? Then is it more involved? with the others or it's you know it's uh, it depends on the song and the album and the project it's uh you know it's kind of the same as it's always been but you know it's the same but different i don't know how to explain it yeah you know, it's, uh, and the approaches have changed as well we used to do it all together in the rehearsal room and really hash things out now it's maybe more writing you know we live in different places on the, pl- yeah. the planet now and it's a, bit, a little bit more complicated but we get it done anyway. yeah but with technology nowadays i would think that you know that helps yeah yeah, yeah it does yeah yeah so um so you i believe you've been more of a grungy kid in the past maybe perhaps and you've got different influences and things yeah yeah i mean i i, I think we have a lot of the same influences but also some different ones you yeah. know obviously we all we all like classical music we all like metal we all like punk yeah. um but yeah, I also, I'm probably the only one that likes grunge, but yeah. I really like grunge. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a big fan of grunge because it kind of nobody killed, is. It kinda, but I am. It kind of <laughs> killed. It kind of killed my thrash. My well, that's it. Everyone hates yeah. it for killing. Yeah, exactly. for killing off the metal that that preceded it, but. Um, I, I just love it for, for being a totally different, very super simplified way of expressing emotion. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, um, what else have you got coming up uh, music now? So, you've got a big tour coming up with, uh, uh, um, <laughs> with Trivium in uh, October later on in the year, yeah? That's in the States, though. Yeah. That's not for over here. Yeah. <clears throat> we are, we're doing a co headline with Trivium, a stateside, um, Canada and the US. And then. Um, what are we doing? We're doing uh, next year in January, February. We're, we've announced um, a European tour, our own headline tour. And we have bringing out a, a band called Winter Sun from Finland. Yep. And uh, also Tribulation from Sweden and Ginger from Ukraine. That's a really cool bill. And that's gonna that's gonna come over here as well. Yeah, we've got Winston here later on tonight as well. They're they're, they're um, finishing off our, our second stage. Oh great! So we're gonna be uh, seeing them later on as well. And their new album's killer yeah. as well. Yeah, so yeah, great. so that should be really good. So uh, lots of yeah, we got lots of touring ahead. We got a it's gonna be a really long campaign again. Yeah, we're gonna go all over the place. Soon. Yeah, it's not does that um, change over the years as you? I'm obviously you've been touring for a long long time now. Does it does it get tiring? Does it get does it is it just get used to it or? Uh, some days are tiring, some days, but you know, the shows are always energizing, I feel, and the shows are really what keeps us, and we have a good atmosphere in the band, you know, the, we have a great crew, we have a great band uh, a vibe on the bus and everything and backstage, you know, everything's really positive and upbeat, and we everybody feels really involved and we're all here to do a, to perform a killer show for ourselves and for the fans, yeah. and so that never, that, enthu that enthusiasm is what keeps us going, and then of course, you know, if you have to wake up really early and, and go to an airport or, uh, you know, well, that's never fun. The travel part yeah. is grueling, I guess, but yeah. for everybody, but, uh, you know, you just do, you, we kind of, we're on a mission, you know, we just do what we got to do to, to get it done. Yeah. I think that's yeah. how we feel about it. Okay. Um, we've got quite a big um, tradition here of uh, Bloodstock with the grassroots uh, side of things. So we've got a new blood stage over in the blue corner grass. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. We haven't quite. Well, I don't think we've quite extended the bluegrass yet, but you never know. We're, we're diversifying every year, so you never know. But um, no, we've got um, a, a new blood stage here where we have uh, bands from all over the place and uh, all around the, the UK mm -hmm. and Ireland. And we also have one in Norway as well. We'll, um, so we have, and we're hoping to branch out more into Europe and that sort of Is thing. Is this for new, new talent? Yeah, new talent. And, uh, and then basically they, they, the winners from each each uh, area 29 of them play on the new blood stage over the weekend oh, wow. um, and then they can get bumped up the stages so we had a band that played on the main stage last year that came through that process and uh, oh. you know opened in the morning so um what what what's your sort of views from from sort of top down looking down at the, what the the metal scenes like at the moment and where the where the future headliners are coming from really because obviously we've got a lot of talk about metallica and iron maiden and that aren't going to go around forever so do you see that with the bands that you're sort of got that you've got lower down on your support and things um, <coughs> yeah I mean things are changing you know but that's just life you know it's all you know I think uh, things are uh, happening you know some people have retired or left us you know Lemmy's gone Dio's gone um, and we don't know how long some other people are going to go but hopefully for a very long time still you know I made and I called them not long ago and they were as uh, energetic oh, yeah. as ever yeah, they are. They <laughs> there's are. no stopping them yeah they're not yeah. going to be going for a while I wouldn't yeah. have thought but you, mentioned but, you, know, you mentioned Dio gone but he's mm. kind of coming back in a hologrammatic form I believe so um, well, yeah. would you would you, would you go along for that if you if you kick the bucket? Would you <laughs> <laughs> would you sign something away to get, get you be hologrammatically well, produced? Well, he has to because I'm younger than him and I still exactly want to that's go what I'm saying. I'm if really you want to carry on so doing I, so, actually, I'm working on a hologram of him right now. Exactly, and uh, <laughs> just so I can keep going until I until I die. Seriously, I'm 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 very uh, you know would would Ronnie James Dio have wanted that? I don't I'm, I don't know what you think. We don't really know. He was always pretty magical. I don't know. Maybe yeah. he'd, maybe he'd be into it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think maybe for a, a, an exhibition or something for a, for a tour. I don't know. I mean, that would be less tiring for a hologram, at least. I would have thought so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know. Okay, cool. Well, uh, yeah. Well, that's all the questions we've got for you. So uh, we'll let you go and get ready, and uh, cool. hopefully uh, give us a, a, a nice old big finish to our weekend here at Bloodstock. Yeah, it's going to be very spectacular. Cool. Thank Excellent. You. Thanks for talking to us. That's Arch Enemy on Bloodstock TV.